make sure that the uh, conversion kit is uh, screwed down really tight so that we have a nice tight seal. Here we're going to start putting the uh, pilot tubing in. And if you looked at that nut closely, I'll show it to you again. You see that it has a flaring piece at the end, similar to a uh, ferrule. For those of you uh, familiar with ferrules, and when we crank this down, that ferrule, the flaring part at the top, will compress against. Of the uh, valve and seal off any gas that might come out around the side of the tubing. And again, this is the uh, tubing for the main burners. And we're going to get it on there nice and tight, snug. And the new thing about this conversion kit is it comes with a, uh, I guess you would call it a safety switch for the uh, thermal coupling. If the uh, water heater was to get too hot or the burners up underneath, it would all automatically current, cut the uh, thermal coupling off, which would uh, cause the uh, pilot to go out, keeping you safe. And you notice on each side of this safety switch that we have here has uh, two electrical outlets because there is electricity going through the uh, thermal coupling itself once the uh, pilot is lit it generates a small amount of electricity and that is what keeps the uh, pilot light lit water heater and the uh, thermal coupling does go out check the uh, thermal coupling right here that we're uh, tightening up right now sometimes if that's loose you'll uh, have a bad connection and you're not getting any kind of current electrical current going through so just make sure that's tight and uh, if it is then your uh, thermal coupling, coupling should continue to work Here we go with the uh, igniter. And we're going to connect it to the new wiring. And it just plugs right in. As you can see, it's easily mounted on the side of the uh, valve. We're connecting the uh, wire leads. And this is another new feature that most people are not familiar with. Is that small little white button right there. We're going to go ahead and continue to hook up the wire leads. And then we're going to show you this 
small white button that you can see. Um, small white button right here. And we're going to get a screwdriver so that you can see it, get a closer look at it. That small button, if your thermocoupling tends to keep going out, you may have to uh, click that small button in to reset so that the uh, pilot will continue to stay lit. This is a new feature that uh, most people are not familiar with. And here we are, looking through the uh, looking glass to check to see if we have ignition. Now that the uh, pilot light is lit, we're going to hold down on that red button on top for a minute. Just long enough to heat it up to generate enough electricity to hold that pilot open. And here we are at the top. And now that we do have it lit, we turn it on to the on position.